Welcome to Pixedit.com Advanced Tutorial for Manual Conversion between Color, Grayscale, and Monochrome. Previously, we showed how Pixedit automatically decides color mode during scanning. In this video, we will show manual conversion between color, grayscale, and pure black and white pages. Pixedit works with any mixture of color, grayscale, or monochrome pages within a document. However, you may sometimes need to export one or more pages to a system or equipment that requires pages to arrive in, for example, pure black and white. Or perhaps, you simply would like to convert a picture to grayscale for artistic reasons. You can easily convert color mode on single pages, on selected pages, or documents, or even on entire archives. As you shall see, not all page content is suitable for color conversion to monochrome. This is especially valid for full color pictures and color rich illustrations. Pages with black text or line art on a white background can almost always be reduced to pure black and white mode without any significant loss in readability. To illustrate this, we have opened in PixEdit a special page containing both black text on a white background as well as some colorful graphics. A document page like this usually contains millions of different colors. If all you need is to reduce the number of colors to, say, 16, you can use Image, Colors, Reduce. As you can see, the graphics are still readable although the quality has been reduced. The black text on the white background on the left-hand side is completely unaffected. Let's undo the color reduction using Ctrl-Z and show you conversion to grayscale. To reduce a selected area on a color page, the entire page, or a page range to grayscale, use Image, Colors, Convert to Grayscale. We just converted the current page to 256 grayscale. Again, black text on a white background is completely unaffected by the conversion to grayscale. Using Control z to undo conversion to grayscale, we return to our original color page. Now we'll show you conversion to pure black and white using Image, Colors, Convert to Monochrome. The dialog box for conversion to monochrome, or pure black and white, offers several conversion options. Let's check the preview option to save some time while we show the different conversion alternatives. The line art option is only useful for colored graphics on white background, such as an electric schematic with different colored lines. As you can see, the line art option is not at all suitable for general graphics on a colored background. A somewhat better option for color to monochrome conversion is using fixed threshold. In this case, the readability of the text is almost the same as before the thresholding. Though, as expected, fixed threshold is not particularly suited for the color pictures. For maps and similar material, you will probably find both fixed and smart thresholding useful. The best method for converting color pages to black and white mode is dithering or halftoning. Let's now look at a well-known dither method called Floyd and Steinberg. As you can see, the dither process translates the color page into an emulated grayscale page using just black and white pixels. <laughs> 